In this video, we are going to discuss question 2 of the question paper 52 of 9701 chemistry that is A levels chemistry of the examination series May June 2025. Question 1 is already solved in our earlier video. So, let's go ahead with question 2 now. So, here is question 2 and it says that the enthalpy change of the combustion that is delta at C of butane can be determined using the apparatus given here in figure 2.1 that is here and the following steps are carried out. Now, let us see what are the following steps here. Use a 500 centimeter cube measuring cylinder to transfer 320 centimeter cube of water in a metal can. Place a thermometer into the water and record the initial temperature. Weigh the gas container with burner and record the initial mass. Set up the apparatus as shown in figure 2.1. Light the burner. Allow the flame to heat the water in the metal can for 3 minutes. Now remember it's 3 minutes. Switch off the burner and record the maximum temperature reached and when cool, reweigh the gas container with the burner and record the final mass. So, these are the few things we need, uh, which we need to consider and uh, here is the apparatus with, where we can see here is a metal can with some water, thermometer, the gas burner, the tripod stand and all that. Now, let us see what are the sub questions following. Okay, here is like the results are shown in table 2.1 and complete the table 2.1. Record your answer to the appropriate number of decimal places. Now, here is the initial temperature and the maximum temperature. So, change in temperature is the subtraction of these two temperatures. So, in subtracting, we get 57.3 degrees celsius and now here the initial mass of the gas container and the final mass so mass of butane again we need to subtract these two values and it is 2.10 gram so 2.10 gram of butane is uh, used to heat the uh, water and the temperature rises 57.3 degrees celsius yes let's go ahead with the next part here use a relationship q is equal to mc delta t to calculate the energy q in joules gained by the water one centimeter cube of water has a mass of one gram so q is equal to mc delta t now m is the mass of the water taken off we have taken 320 centimeter cube and it's given that one centimeter cube is equal to one gram the mass of water is 320 gram into the specific heat of water that is 4.18 and the temperature change which was 57.3 now on multiplication we get the value as 76600 joules in three significant figures now this is the energy change which was related to the procedure here so now we can write that as 76600 joules now calculate the enthalpy change of combustion of butane in kilojoules per mole now understand this is joules and we need to change it into kilojoules per mole if you want to find out per mole we need to find out the moles of the butane used now here it's clearly written answer in three significant figures so if we want to find out the moles we need to have the mass of the butane used which we already have calculated here which is 2.10 so that is the mass so, mass is 2.10 divided by the relative molecular mass of butane which is 58. Now, if we divide this two, we get 0 0.0362. Now, these are the moles of butane used. Now, if we want to calculate delta HC, then we have 76600 divided by 1000 also divide by the moles which we have already calculated here that is 0 0.0362 
and its answer is 2120 kilojoules per mole but as the temperature has increased and the burning of butane is an exothermic process we need to keep this negative sign so minus 2120 kilojoules per mole remember this is three significant figures your answer may be something further than 2 but then we have to write it in three significant figures so it is 2120 Now, without changing the apparatus, suggest what should be done in step six before recording the maximum temperature reached to improve the experimental procedure. Now, let's have a look at step six. What is there is switch off the burner and record the maximum temperature reached. After switching off the burner, we need to record the maximum temperature. So, if we want to record the maximum temperature, we should stir or mix the water thoroughly, and that is what is actually required to get the uniform temperature throughout the water. So, the step needed is stir the water before we take the maximum temperature. Now, E is at the five hundred centimeter cube of measuring cylinder. has a graduation of every 5 cm cube now calculate the percentage error in the measurements of volume of water show your work you now that shows that the smallest mark is 5 cm cube so what it cannot read is divide by 2 that is 2.5 cm cube it cannot read so the maximum error is 2.5 cm cube now if we want to find out the percentage error then 2.5 has to be used now have we used a measuring cylinder reading twice no because we just measured 320 cm cube of the water and poured it into the beaker so here it's only 2.5 now divide by our reading that is the volume of the water was 320 cm cube so divide by 320 into 100 that's what we are going to do understand how do we get the maximum error the smallest reading which we can read on any apparatus we divide by 2 that is the maximum error So five centimeter cube divided by two is two point five centimeter cube. Now, if we have used our apparatus twice to get our reading of three twenty, then multiplied by two. But in measuring cylinder, we don't use it twice to measure final and initial volume. It's just the top mark which we use that is three twenty centimeter cube. So directly divide by three twenty into hundred and. So our maximum percentage error is zero point seven eight percent. So zero point seven eight percent is our maximum percentage error. Let's go ahead with the next part. Here it says a student suggests that the value calculated in C is different from the actual value of the enthalpy change of combustion of butane. because of the heat loss during the experiment now suggest one change to the apparatus that would reduce the heat loss now that only thing which is possible here is the use lid of the container so that the uh, heat loss is less that's the only solution we can bring but still there will be some difference but it can be minimized yes G part is the experiment was repeated but the burner was switched off after only 2 minutes earlier we had used 3 minutes so what will happen if we use 2 minutes so the first sub question is suggest why this might contribute to a reduction in the accuracy of the uh, enthalpy change of butane means if the accuracy in the delta c delta h c that is enthalpy change of combustion will reduce the reason being is that the smaller the reading the smaller the reading higher is the percentage error higher is the percentage error and that's why the accuracy might increase so higher is the percentage error sorry percentage error 
okay second part is suggest why this might contribute to an increase in the accuracy of delta hc of butane now how does it can increase the accuracy also they have asked both ways decrease and increase of the accuracy now that can be increased because if uh, if the water is heated for smaller value of time smaller amount of time then the heat loss will be less heat loss will be less heat loss is reduced and that's why the accuracy may increase so this is how we end up with the question 2 also i think the question explanation is very very clear and it's quite easy also